Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to clutch up more in the end game and as well just give you guys some tips overall just to how to win more games here for season 8. And before we get into the video I have a V-Bug giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away V-Bugs at 125,000 subscribers. So if you want to enter that giveaway all you have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on my notifications and as well leave a comment down below of your xbox gamer tag psn gamer tag or epic account and i will be picking the winners of this giveaway as soon as i hit 125,000 subscribers so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and as well if you guys want to add me and support me as a creator in the item shop all you have to do is go over to the item shop go down to support a creator type in my code my code is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator i really do appreciate everyone who does and all right guys let's write the video Alright, so in this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks in the end game just to help you guys win more games and just not choke in the end game and get a lot of second places or a lot of top 10s, which tends to happen quite a bit of the time or more than not. So when it comes to playing the end game, it's very different playing the end game when it comes to public matches versus arena. So I wanted to cover both in this video because it is very different and you're going to have to play both very different. And like I said, in arena, it's going to be a lot more difficult to win in there than it is to be in public matches because in arena mode there's going to be three to four times maybe even five times as many people in the end game than there is you're going to see in a public match so when it comes to having that many people in the end game it's going to be a lot more difficult because first of all your frames are going to be a lot lower and as well there's going to be so many people just trying to win the game at the exact same time so it is going to be so much more difficult to get a win in there than it is to get a win in public matches so first i want to start off with arena and just some things that you can do in arena mode that can make it a little bit easier and i don't have a gameplay for it so i have to give you guys straight tips and getting a win that with that many points in arena is going to be very difficult and currently i'm at 325 i'm about to play some more arena so i might be a little bit higher maybe i might be a little bit lower by the time i upload this video but i currently right now i'm at 325 points i almost came out with a win just the other day and i was currently at i think it was 305 points i was going into the end game have 11 kills and i got unfortunately i only had a second place i ran to a player with literally zero kills straight up like 15 bandages 10 campfires and so he just had a major advantage on me there so with end game and arena it comes down to hp your materials and as well if you have any sort of movement so basically positioning it's kind of those three or four things that are the most important when it comes to winning in arena mode and having a launch pad or having an extra rift is gonna play you a huge role in the end game is gonna be able to clutch you out a lot more wins and as well as save you a ton more mass because i use a lot of rifts and a lot of launch pads and rotations so if you're on if the zone is on the other side of the the circle i'm not gonna spend 300 400 maybe even 500 materials going all the way over and as well risk the, ch the chance of getting absolutely beamed from who knows where because there's going to be so many people instead what i like to do is just throw down a launch pad throw down a rift and take from there go to the next zone and that's going to save me a lot of maps and as well it's going to save me a lot of time and more than likely it's going to save me a lot of hp by doing that so that's just one way you can save yourself from getting screwed over in the end game and give you guys a better chance of winning in the late game and as well positioning is everything and to be completely honest with you guys i really don't have a favorite kind of position on like on what i like to play high ground is kind of risky because you do have a lot of people using uh rifts and stuff like there but at the same time if you're on high ground you're gonna have the best advantage possible unless you have or from an angle where you can get shot down because if you have high ground and there's a, and it's a very good chance you're not going to get shot down you're going to have the best advantage because there's no one going to be above you so you don't have to worry about that sort of angle but at the same time like i said you have to worry about people shooting you out or maybe even landing on you with their rift so you have to take that with a grain of salt but at the same time i would think going for high ground would be one of the best options if you do have a really good chance to go for it and one thing that i like to do in creative that really helps me out when it comes to those scrim games or even those arena games is working on building a one by one so just uh, spinning around Around, building all my walls and placing a floor a pyramid editing out and doing the exact same thing learning how to do that movement specifically very very quickly is going to be essential if you want to be able to win a lot more games late game and arena mode and public matches is really not 
so bad because you never really run into those games unless you accidentally go into a scrim lobby but for the most part doing a build like that is going to be very essential and something that you have to have down it's not really too much of a choice if you want to be able to win more games just because you're going to get sprayed from so many different angles that you want to be able to build from all uh, all directions and as well move very quickly at the same time because if you have it where the circle is on the opposite side of the zone, you're going to want to protect yourself from every single angle. And as well, if you do it too slowly, you're going to get hit by the zone and lose a lot of damage. Because in those late games, it's going to be doing 8 to 10 damage per tick every single time that you get hit by the zone. So with doing that much damage, you want to avoid going into the zone as much as possible. Sometimes it might be worth it to get a few mats. Or maybe if you need something really, really bad from the zone, then you can go into it for a second or two. It's not going to hurt you too bad but you for the most part you want to stay out of the zone as much as possible and one thing you can do to better your chances of getting a little bit more kills in the end game and by getting more kills you're going to get an, you're going to get a lot of hp and mats if you can get to the next zone earlier maybe if you're in the middle people who haven't rotated like i said using the launch pad or the rift and are kind of stuck on the edge of the zone they're going to be a lot of free opportunities to get shots in those players because they're going to be trying to come out of the zone and the zones or the circles on the complete opposite side of the zone it's going to make it worse so they have to run almost the entire time if they want to get over to the next zone without getting hit by the storm so what you can do is you can get a lot of free tags and a lot of time people in the late game aren't going to have 100 100 hp more than likely they're going to have 100 at most some people might have 150 50, but for the most part they're not going to have that much hp so you're going to be getting a lot of knocks if you can just pick off the players that are rotating a little bit later because you're going to have free wide open shots because they're going to be rotating from the zone and if you're shooting at them while they're rotating in the zones at their back they pretty much have to keep pushing forwards which is going to allow you to get even more tags and hopefully get that elimination on that player so if you can rotate early or get to the sort of even even the mid zone of uh, for the next circle it's going to put you at a good advantage to get a lot of picks on a lot of players and that's how i'm able to drop a lot of kills and for those of you guys who saw my snapchat i think it was a day or two ago i had 298 points at the start of the game and i ended with a lot of points because i ended up having 15 kills in that game it was crazy i was running up against a lot of sweats i was popping off though I was getting so many kills and tilt that I came out tilt with like five and then going into the late game was just beaming every single player that I was going against. I gained probably 25 points off that game. I gained so much. I had 15. My teammate had like three or four. He might even had five. And as well, we got a lot of placement points. I ended up getting fourth place in that game. I got into a situation where there was no chance at all I was going to win it. But at the same time, I was good because I got so many kills that game that I more than made up for the points that I would have gotten if I would have won the game. And I know I talked a lot about arena in this video but when it comes to public matches i would say one of the number one things when it comes to late game if you want to win is having a lot of materials and as well having a good hp and most of the time if you play at a decent rate you're gonna have a lot of hp going into the late game it just materials could be one of those things that could be kind of challenging but if you kill one of the players in the late game i always recommend trying to play it just slightly aggressive towards the end just and just enough so where you can get one or two picks or to where you can kill a player with a lot of mats because there's going to be a lot of players in the end game that literally have one kill at most and you're going to be able to kill them and get just about max wood max brick and a lot of steel so you're gonna be getting a lot of mats off those players so if you can have a lot of mats going into the end game it's gonna make it so much easier to get a lot more kills and so a lot of people in the end game are gonna be boxed up that's what most people do and so it's kind of you know it is a lot slower but if you can play it very well, what I would recommend doing is if people are boxed up and you're going into a fight, you have to be careful from other people boxed up. So when you're going into a fight or picking or choosing a fight, I would recommend trying to challenge a player who is a little bit off from the rest of the players, meaning that you don't want to challenge someone who's right next to another per person who's just camping in a box. Because the second you go for the challenge, the other player in the box is just going to spam at you the entire time, which is going to be super annoying to deal with. And they could be at that one distance where they're probably like uh, 75 or 80 meters away to where you're not even close enough to challenge them they're pretty much at that distance where they can just keep spamming you no, no matter what and there's nothing you can do about it you have to either win the gunfight that you're on or maybe even just use a launch pad to challenge the player who's spraying at you really bad but in that case if you use a launch pad you're gonna get sprayed from the first guy they were challenging so what i would recommend doing is just challenging players who are really separated or kind of isolated because that's going to be the best chance of not getting teamed up by every single player in the lobby 
because that's probably one of the number one ways people die in the late game and just getting spammed by all those players at the exact same time. So if you can put yourself in a position where you're not getting spammed by all those players, you're gonna have a really good chance of winning that game. And with that being said, that's about for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you guys could drop a like on this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on my notifications to be notified for every single new video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.